Hello and welcome to video four in this series of 2018 Shell Script Tutorials. I hope you've checked out my previous videos in this series as well as videos I've done over the years because I've done hundreds on Shell Scripts. Today we're going to be looking at the make directory command, mkdir. Uh, we're going to combine that with the cd command. So for example, I'm in an empty directory right now. You can see nothing in there. And I can say make directory my dir and I can move into that by typing cd my dir and you can see it's empty. But moving back out of that, I can remove that folder, make dir, and um, now I'm in an empty directory again. Lots of the time when you make a directory, the next thing you're probably going to do is move into it with CD. So if you do do that all the time, you might want to combine the commands. Okay, so uh, the first thing you want to do is come up with a name for your command. And there's different ways of doing this. I'm going to show you a very simple way today, uh, but in the next video, I'll show you a more complicated way that does a little bit of uh, uh, error checking if you want, if you, if you, you know, if you want to call it that. Anyway, uh, let's create a command. Now, I was thinking originally MCD for make change directory. Problem is, that is actually a command on my machine already, mcd, so man, mcd. And you can see, it may not be installed on your system. It's part of the M tools, uh, which you use to work with uh, Microsoft DOS disks, which I have been working, doing stuff with uh, FAT32 partitions, which I'm gonna be doing tutorials on in the near future. And that's why I have this. So you may not have that command installed, but it is the name of a command, so you may not wanna use that, because in the future you might install that, and then you go to use it, and you've already overwritten it, um, although it will still exist. Anyway. Uh, you come up with whatever name you want. In the next video, we're going to look at replacing uh, the MD, uh, M MKDIR command. But today, we're just going to create a new command, uh, and I'll just call it MyCD. Okay? So I'm going to call it MyCD, and then I'm going to give parentheses. So what, what does it mean when you have uh, parentheses like that in a command in pretty much any programming language? It's a function. We are creating a function here. Uh, so we're going to say that and we're going to give it our little squiggly braces there. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it two commands. Make dir, mkdir, dollar sign one. And then we're going to say ampersand, ampersand, uh, cd, dollar sign one. And I'm going to do a semicolon, which I don't think needs to be there, but I like to have it there to let you know that that's the end. So basically what we're doing here is we're creating a function called mycd. And when you run that function, it's going to run this command and this command. So it's going to run make dir and, and cd. And then the ampersand ampersand says only move into that directory if this command is successful, which we'll talk about in a moment. And then the dollar sign one in both of these is the first string, the first uh, variable sent to the command. So we'll look into that more in a second, but let's just go ahead, hit enter. And now I can type in my CD and I can type in test one. And when I hit enter, it created that directory and moved me into it in one simple command. And I can move back out and I can say uh, MCD test two. And I moved into that directory. And if I rest run it again, now I'm in another directory inside that directory. So it's saving me from typing out a separate command. Now, if I was to back out of this and I was to run this command again, it's going to give me an error, but still move me into that directory. So if I hit enter here, it's going to say that that directory already exists. The file already exists because it already did uh, make CD and it did not move me into it. Now, depending on your scenario, you may or may not want you to move into it. So you're going to create a directory and move into it. It will give you this error unless you pipe it to dev null. Uh, if we were to rewrite our function and instead of ampersand ampersand, we just do semicolon, which is saying is run this command and then run this command, as opposed to run this command and if successful, then run this command. So now if I was to run this and I was to type in my CD2, it's going to tell me that file, that, that folder already exists, but it's still going to move me into it. You may or may not want, not want that for your thing. Now there might be more reasons than one. This reason it could not successfully create the directory was because it existed. Maybe you can't create the directory because you don't have permissions to create the directory inside that directory. Uh, in, the, in which case, you'd get two fails. You get a fail that uh, you can't create it, and then you get a fail that you couldn't move into it. You decide what works best for you. Um, I think if the first one fails, it's a good idea to stop there. But again, up to you. Now, if I was to open up a new shell session, so we're down here, this is a new shell session down here like open up a new window or closing that one open it up and I was type in my CD you can see it says that it doesn't exist and it's going to my shell because the way I have Z shell set up it's going to suggest a change to me because that command does not exist it create it exists in this session up here my CD okay so 
the way you make that permanent you know, through all your sessions is it adds to your RC file. So if you're using bash, it's dot bash RC. If you're using Z shell, it's dot Z shell RC in your home directory. I'm not going to get into that. You probably already know how to do that. If not, Google it. And I'm also pretty sure that I've done videos on that in the past. Another thing I want to show you is again, this dollar sign is saying use the first variable pass to us. So if we were to again, my CD and type in test four, it created that directory moving to it. But if I was to type in uh, my CD, this is a folder, it's not going to create a folder called this is a folder. It's going to create a folder called this and ignore the rest of it. So you can see I'm in a folder called this. If you want it to create that entire folder, you're going to want to put quotations around that. And so there we create a folder called this is a folder and moved into it. You could change uh, your function to basically use all strings passed to it. That's one option. If you want to do that, I don't think that's necessarily a great idea. Plus, you might want to add other options to that. So that is a quick and simple way to make a directory and move into it in one command. So now I can mcd blah, 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 and I've created it and moved into it. I do thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. hope you enjoy all my tutorials. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. There you can search through all my videos. Also support me in the sports section at patreon.com forward slash melx1000 or through PayPal. So check that out on my website as well. And if you do like my videos and can't support financially, I do appreciate a like. Think about subscribing and sharing definitely helps. Uh, again, I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.